Alright guys, welcome to our server. Oh, rain. What perfect timing. Alrighty, this is our Feed the Beast Unleashed. We just transferred, uh, converted the server over to Unleashed from Ultimate. Uh, what kind of... I'm liking the mod pack. I hear everyone else on the server, there's a few of us. Just a few. It's a pretty... Pretty small server. Uh, it's hosted, and we're just having fun with it. Uh, no one has admin except the owner, and no one has any type of cheat mode or anything like that. So it's all hand done. Lots of time, lots of effort. It gets crazy. So we're pretty much. Let me turn down the music. Sorry. Pretty much just building everything ourselves. Oh, wrong room. We, uh, we, we've pretty much just decided to go basic materials, you know, just nothing fancy. We've got some electric items, rocking the power suit, and an advanced jetpack that took a while to make. We're pretty much working on uh, a power source like we had in, um, on, uh, Ultimate. I had a pumping station in the nether pumping lava into tanks and then the tanks filtered it out to magmatic engines and uh, thermal generators and that's what I was running my uh, whole entire base off of and that's what we want to get back to it was super easy I didn't have to maintain it and it just filled up MFSU's really quickly which I liked and pretty much the way to get back to that is to start off with all the low-end stuff like you need the powered furnace you need the pulverizer I like these force engines. I did not know that did that. <laughs> um, I'm really liking this. The force engines are really nice. Uh, we don't have a portal gun at the moment, or we just got one, but it's the Atlas one. So only one, only one group of us can use it. We're pretty much split into two groups. Me and my friend are over here. We're pretty much just a couple thousand blocks away from everyone else. Everyone else has moved out very, very far. All right, let's run into the nether. This is our little gate between our actual home base and our um, our quarry. We didn't want the quarry to be next to our house. It looks terrible once you quarry a whole section. It's just, it's not good. So we're pretty much very far out there. I'm thinking at least two to 3,000 blocks. Oh, things are not, there we go. Um, so far so good. I'm wondering why it's not loading. I think it's the server. Like, I'm, I'm running perfect frames. Like, my frames are really high. Yeah, see, I'm running fine, and that's with recording, so I'm thinking it's not me. It must be lagging a little bit. Um, so we've been on the server for about under a week now. Uh, it took us four or five straight days of just farming material just to get to where we're at now we have a lot of plans a lot of build you know tree far Ooh, i'm on fire i forgot the heat's up <laughs> power suit uh is very nice but it has some downfalls makes you run extremely fast and then you just you get used to it and then when you go to run normal you're like i feel so slow and then when you know, you don't pay attention, you catch yourself on fire, like I just did. Alright, this is pretty much my first video. Um, I haven't really been recording much. I just bought a new system, built it myself. It's it's not bad. There's my quarry, at least one of them. Let me make sure I have... The fuel, the quarry is running off of force. The force gems are just squeezed with a... Sterling engine, super easy. Just leave it running for a couple minutes. This thing will fill up. You toss some buckets in, and you get a force bucket. It has a chance on this upper box right here to give you a force shard, which is just the same thing as a force bucket. It just doesn't require the bucket. Alright. We are in business. I'm going to fill this up. I think I have some in my pack. Nope. I'm going to dump some of this. The gold bag of holding. Oh my goodness. It is worth having. 
Not hard to make and totally worth. Oop, I just screenshot it by accident. Totally worth having. So these, um, see, I just got a force shard. These buckets right here, they, they fuel the, the quarry pretty well, but you can put a force multiplier is what it's called in, or a throttle. And what that does is it increases the output on the engine and it consumes a little bit more fuel, I believe. But overall, it's not bad. Like, it will... I'll fill this up and leave it running for an hour or two. And I'll farm a bunch. And I'll come back and... You know, I'll check the boxes. Yeah. Oh, if you wanted this, I have the... Um, the diamond pipe coming out. I have it set to filter cobble, dirt, gravel, and... Uh, just extra gravel. Don't know why. Into the void pipe. The void pipe just pretty much automatically destroys it instantly. So I don't have to worry about coming and emptying the garbage. It's already emptied. Um, you do need, when you go to set the filters, obviously you're going to need the, the items you want to filter. So you're going to have to go collect some first before you can filter it. But uh, as I was talking, let me go fill some water buckets up. Uh, run so slow on ice. Click, click. Alrighty. So, what the force multiplier does, or the throttle, it allows the engine to run faster. And it, it outputs more. So when I put the throttle in, right now it's giving out 4. I put water in, it gives out 8 MJ. Which you think is not much, but it's enough to run the quarry for quite a while without having to worry about refilling it or having some type of heavy duty lots of mats to set up a power source I pretty much was able to set this up within maybe an hour of farming materials I had to go get myself and then I was able to build the basic squeezer and yeah we're all set to go see it's full up let's put some buckets in here click 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 Yeah, it doesn't eat many force gems. I think I had a stack in here, and I'm down to... Well, I had a little bit more than a stack. Like a stack and... Which is 64 and like 5 or 7, something like that. And it, it just... You get quite a bit. I think it's the most... It's the, it's the easiest thing to set up. And you get the most bang for your buck. So you don't have to burn coal. You don't have to waste these other materials. These force gems are useful, but... You find them all over the place, which is very nice. I think I've pretty much cleaned out everything in here. Yep. Oh, run out of space. Let's take that. Yep. Let's take that. So, me and my friends were pretty much just playing on a privately hosted server. There's a few of us, about five, and uh, some of them you don't even see on for. Oh, I haven't seen some of them on for at least three weeks. And that was before when we were running the uh, Unleashed pack. Yeah. It gets crazy. They uh, they play a lot of other uh, games, so it's, like, it's understandable. But they don't want to put more time into Minecraft than they, than they really feel like they need to. Though the game is addictively fun. Alright. Let's see. Finish it. Yeah, I'll just leave an extra bucket in there. So when this one hits down a thousand, well, it's gonna go down 570 something more. It'll automatically just eat the bucket and fill back up to full. And I have another quarry. It's right over here underground, which I attempted to do the first one underground, but it just didn't really work. It I didn't make it tall enough. It was eating pretty much the surface anyways, and yeah, no big. But the greatest part about these mod pack or this mod pack, the unleashed one, is that you don't really have to spend much material to get started, like the ultimate pack. Like it took you forever to get going, but once you did, you pretty much stayed going the whole time. Like you could just spend resources every day, all day, and not worry about it. Hmm, not too bad. Just checking them out, checking for any diamonds and any major materials I'm just gonna let it run 
See, I have the filter set up on this one also. So it's just pretty much filtering just the basic crap material you don't want. And it's already gone down quite a bit. This room pretty much dug a, a two, three block high spot and just ran down and laid all the um, torches and set it up. Alrighty, um, sorry this video is a little just sporadic, but it's my first video and I just wanted to show you a little bit about our server. We're having some fun. Um, at some point I'm thinking that he might open it up to the public, but I just don't know yet. He hasn't really said much about it. He's thinking about it, I guess. So this is going for quite a bit at MJ, so it's, um... About two blocks a second, close to three. It's not max. I think six, 16 MJ will run the quarry at maximum power, which is which is nice. But it's just not really needed since I can just leave this running for a couple hours and come back and fill it up with some more buckets. And I have two of them running at the same time, so it's not a problem. Lots of material. Alrighty, thanks for watching.